Alright everybody, welcome back. It's day 20 of 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days, the whole month of April 2021. I'm featuring a different riff by a different band from the 80s hard rock and metal scene. Today we're looking at one of my favorite bands of all time, Queensryche. And this is from the Rage for Order record, the lead off track, Walk in the Shadows. Now I wanted to show this because uh, this is a really good example of how Queensryche um, is and was a two guitar band and often the two parts working together were different. Uh, different guitar parts put together really made the song and in this case you can't really have one part of the riff without the other. So I'm going to show you both parts. Uh, for Walk in the Shadows, the intro riff to that. And I've never taught this before, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to dig into this. And it's such a great song that I wish I had time uh, to go further into the song. To, maybe I'll, I'll do that at a different time. But right now we're just focused on these 30 riffs this month. Uh, so this is from Queen's Right. We'll take a look at it. Make sure and get the tab for this in the description box down below as well as my free sweet picking guide sweet picking boot camp i would surely appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't already if you like what i do here uh please subscribe and keep this channel going all right so let's dig in we're standard tuning here key of f sharp minor and like a lot of queen's right stuff it has kind of a melancholy heavy vibe to it and I've always loved this riff, and the, the two parts together uh, work beautifully. So the, the part that I've got tabbed is what I consider the main, the main melodic part of the riff. The rest of it's basically hitting on power chords. But what I thought I'd do is show you first the power chord part. And then we'll talk about the uh, the main part of the riff. Okay, so we're playing an F sharp power chord here, but you can also get some of the minor in. Okay, so I'm basically barring an F sharp minor here. When I play this, I'm going. So you got the. the lower part of the power chord or the F sharp on the second fret. Then you're into the verse. So this goes between an F sharp minor Lots of alternate picking going on here. Keep a loose picking hand. Then you're gonna go briefly to E, but then this resolves to D quickly, so. And when you hit the D power chord, D5 power chord, fifth fret A, seventh fret D, stay on the D as your root, so. Okay, and that's really the whole thing. That's what's going on behind the melodic part of the riff. So that this all together. Back. E5 power chord right before it hits the verse. This part you'll hear on the left side of your speaker if you have a, a stereo speaker set up. On the right side you'll hear what I'm about to show you next. So hopefully that makes sense 
for the first guitar. The second guitar part is what I have tabbed out, and this is really what makes it so cool. And the first thing you're going to do is play this F sharp minor dyad two note chord here. Basically, it's fourth fret on the D, second fret on the G. You just let that ring over the. going to do is add the fourth uh, the pinky to the fourth fret on the G and hold keep holding down the second fret on the G and we're going to play this so it's four and four on the D and G and then a pull off with the pinky from four to two on the G Then quickly play four on the D. It's a little bit of a mute, a muted note here. So there's the mute. And then play four two at the same time. And add four and add the pinky back so you get four four. So the whole thing would be. Then we're going to play this again where we pull off 42. But now as we play after we play this, we're going to move the chord down to an E, E major chord. And we'll play two on the D, one on the G, and then play two and two on the D and G. And this will resolve to a D five power chord with the open string so this is open D second fret G third fret on the B okay. then um, and then we're back to this we do that twice so here would be the whole thing chord right before the verse comes in. So at a normal tempo you get. Okay, and then you're into the verse. And that's the entire riff simple but when you put them together when you listen to this listen to the album listen to uh, what I have here on the demo it sounds so full and heavy yet melodic and you can really hear the the definition in the two parts so anyways enjoy this Queensryche walk in the shadows the intro riff this was day 20 of 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days Stay tuned tomorrow for day 21 and make sure and go back and check the previous videos if you haven't seen those already. Uh, make sure and grab the tab down below for this and also the free sweet picking guide. And if you subscribe, that would surely make my day. All right, guys, really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Rock on. <laughs>